Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to be joined by the Minister for Science, Education and Higher Education in Portugal, Manuel Haito. So please tell me what sort of progress is being made in Portugal on turning or transforming Portugal into an information society? Thank you for the question and the opportunity. Let me start by acknowledging the, the work WSIS has been done over the, the last d decade. Despite enormous progress in the information society, we definitely understand that there are still strong digital divides all over the, the world, either in the developed or the developing in, in countries. We are particularly focusing on two major issues. First, deepening um, uh, knowledge production by investing in research in new areas of data science, scientific computing and cyber physical systems which have become uh, critical for daily life of, of our citizens again all over the, the, the world. And this does require a revisited policy framework to foster public investment in R&D. We have learned over the years that um, investment in knowledge production does require a clear intention of public um, uh, institutions and does require public investment, which certainly can be complemented, but it, it is never replaced by private investments. So it's a uh, public-private partnership. And essentially, and that actually is interesting, you note that, because in order to build reliable public-private partnerships, as you mentioned, we need essentially to better understand risk-sharing mechanisms and to build what we call by collaborative labs, which do involve public and private investment and institutions. And we are very much focusing on collaborative labs that bring together public and private sector. Our second major field of action nowadays is to develop digital skills, particularly by recognizing the large of, of opportunities in new and emerging ICT markets, but at the same time, the increasing gap in the digital skills. And for doing that, we are particularly attracting so-called non-university polytechnic system, which essentially provides vocational um, based type of, say, higher education, which has been particularly suited through short-term courses to train the labor force. And we are very much investing in a new initiative on digital skills, particularly oriented to the population at large, either youngsters but also adults, which do certainly do require to adopt new skills um, in the digital um, world. And I understand that you're not only doing this in Portugal, but you have some projects also in Portuguese Africa. Uh, thank you for the, 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 the question. That is certainly a major issue, that we understand our co-responsibility of also working in Portuguese-speaking countries, not only in terms of providing contents in Portuguese language, but also to help building local capacity. And again, we have developed over the last years a, a program under the title Global Science. And nowadays we are launching a new initiative with private and public sponsors uh, named the Initiative on Knowledge for the Development, essentially oriented to build scientific capacity in Portuguese-speaking countries, but also to foster the digital skills. Again, not only through university collaboration, but developing a new frontiers of collaboration through polytechnic institutions, which in our understanding are particularly interesting to foster, um, say, competence building in the labor force, also and in particular in the digital world. Manuel Heito, Minister for Science, Technology and Higher Education, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. And please do join us on the ITU YouTube channel where we will be conducting interviews with ministers, regulators, experts from the public and private sector who will be telling us how information and communication technology can really impact people's lives.